This is on your Mark World. Welcome to Mo's Art Exhibit. My name is uh, Yun Moan and I'm an artist. I came here with Mark because I have a solo exhibition around here. What's your exhibit name? Uh, this exhibit name is uh, Copy and Art. We go into Mo's exhibit in Seoul and gain perspective at his painting studio in the countryside city of Ansong, near Piantec, where he's inspired by his love of nature and the unique modern cafes. The title is Coffee and Art, this exhibition because I love the coffee, I enjoy the coffee. So I want, you know, sometimes I get the inspiration from a kind of coffee. So I enjoy, I very enjoy the coffee. So what relation is coffee and art? I want to uh, give the message to people. How coffee inspires you? I coffee, yeah. And how coffee inspires art? Mm -hmm. Okay, I noticed a lot of themes with owls here. Can you explain about the owls? Yes, I love owls. He states how owls are not just cute, so cute for but have useful meanings, expressions, eyes of wisdom, and can take the place of people in funny and attractive ways. Oh, and I'm a night owl as well, so I really appreciate that. Yes, it's owls activity in night time. Their activity takes place at night. In this painting, represented by the full moon, the night owls symbolize how much of our lives and meaningful experiences take place at night. I love this night time because I enjoy the work at night time. It's like the owls, like you, right? <laughs> so. I work at night. Yeah. Our complex relationships and feelings are colorfully represented as well, with the importance of nature, bamboo, flowers, shapes, colors, ways to make and enjoy coffee, and expressing pattern and design. So we need to take rest for the future. We have to take care in our mind. Death flowers is the pattern. I want to express pattern in design. This is a famous painting. The artist's name is Harper. It's just, you That's know, not you? Yeah, imitation to in you know, the background. It's the same meaning, you know that? We're talking to each other in the, with the lover and uh, he, is, well, he is very jealous over there, here. Mm -hmm. Why the coffee cups on the owl's heads? Mm. That's a simple. They love coffee. Coffee can communicate people to people, right? Can you tell us what you think about the gallery? In my opinion, most of the exhibition is so hard to understand because these days some of the uh, projects are very modern, but in these places, the art is especially the characteristic such as the oil is very mm -hmm. comfortable and feel uh, feel pleasant actually. So I'm happy to be here. Oh uh, good, thank you. This information here about the gallery, I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Okay, 2448 Moon Fine Arts. Started as a specialty store of painting and crafts in 1982 and opened Moon Gallery in 1989, which became experienced in prints. The gallery exhibited prints from Korean and foreign artists in order to spread the awareness that paintings can be possessed by anyone who can have breath and mind. Since it opened a new exhibition center and changed our gathering name as 2448 Moon Fine Arts in October 2006, it has made an effort so that art, spiritual food for an abundant life, can be pierced into our daily life by discovering unknown but competent artists in Korea from young and old ages. Okay. There's a description here about Mo's section here as well, about his artwork here, so I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Artist Unmo's work is very warm due to understanding of human mind and expression of love for mankind. His work, having personified animals, appear in encompassing humor and laughter, makes us contemplate that one step afar. It comes up to us sensuously and closely like a modern fable.
he is known for making sculptures as well. Nature is expressed in various but colorful ways with these owls. These tigers have a special meaning for Koreans because of ancient art and texts, as well as for himself personally being born during the Chinese calendar year of the tiger. These two are kissing and falling in love, helping to show his love of nature. This is a city in the center of Gangnam area, but my artwork is a symbol of nature, harmony with nature and the city. What do you say we can see from here? Yeah, that building is a tower palace. And you can see hardly over there, that building is a loaded tower. It's very far, but there's a big building. We can see, you know, loaded tower. And this is Yangetra. It's a combination with, uh, you know, nature and uh, buildings. It's called Igistas here. So I, I love this, this place. So this is uh, Yangetra. It's so beautiful area because all the trees and Spring and autumn is so beautiful area, and then you can walk and the jogging. Look at that, you know, there. So beautiful. Today is very uh, nice weather, and the fresh, uh, not fresh air. A little bit fine dust, right? A little fine dust, but a nice, yeah. nice spring day otherwise. Yeah, nice spring day, yeah, right. And if you want relaxation, come here. I'm, a, I'm really surprised we're actually in Seoul. I wouldn't mm -hmm. expect. Seoul to, to be as green hmm. as this. I've seen this before in areas like Yongsan and Namzan, hmm. like, like around Namzan Tower. There's a big park out there. Hmm. But in this area, I'm very surprised. So there's actually a cool river down there we're going to go check out now. We just found the way down. What river is oh, this over here next to us? Yeah, we call it the Yangjecho. This area is located in Gangnam. So lots of people enjoy this place. Nighttime. So many people crowded here because uh, you know nice weather and uh, people enjoy you know walking with uh, their families and their friends and they so, love it you know. So it's a good place for uh, families to come here and mm -hmm. and relax. Yeah, right. After Mo's exhibit in Seoul, we gained perspective at his painting studio in the countryside city of Ansong, near Piantech, where he's inspired by his love of nature and unique modern cafes. Right now we're here in Mo's studio. He's going to show us around. He's going to explain some of his artwork to us, uh, the process of how he does his art, and some of the symbolism behind what it means. And this is actually one of his studios. This is the main art studio. Uh, yes, but this is only for painting studio. And the sculpture or uh, installation is the studio is uh, the other place. Next time I will show you know, my another studio. And welcome to the studio. Then make a forest, pray for Serenade. This is fundamental. The very basic painting. And the more and more will be will be pretty expressed in more detail. This painting is a sketch of liberty in New York City. I will express real liberty. So I made whole books. It represents how books liberate the mind. Yeah, I want to show people an exhibition. He hopes this visit to his studio can help people to understand the background and process of his artwork. Can you explain about the butterflies over there? Yes, and, and the autism? People ask you why butterfly? He works with autistic children and friends to help them communicate and express themselves with art. Actually, I want to express you know, butterfly effect, you know, autism. He wants to express the butterfly effect and how mankind's love can reach anywhere while teaching people about autism. Butterfly can fly easily. Butterfly can fly anywhere. It's an issue that affects people throughout the world and only by working together can we ail it. So I want to express it you know, for human right and uh, humanism. This is Mo's lounge and meeting space. 
is where it comes to relax, meet people, work together, and observe the beautiful nature outside. Look at you know, outside. Where is your studio and why did you choose here? In my studio located in Ansan. Ansan has many attractions for people to enjoy. Culturally, historic, agricultural, natural, and entertainment. Over a thousand year old temples, brassware made for the ancient royals, folk villages, fortresses, performance halls, mountain hiking trails, the attraction farmland, and a variety of beautiful cafes. The peace and quiet of the nature and inspiring cafe scenes are some of the biggest reasons he loves Ansan. So I love Ansan. How do you feel now? Beautiful. Beautiful place. Good coffee. Yeah, good call to come here. Mm. Wow. So right now we're here in Coffee Nuri. And Coffee Nuri is one of the, just one of the many famous cafes around here in Ansan. It's really beautifully decorated. There's a lot of different levels to this cafe. You see some people here working on their laptops and stuff. Come here, you can relax and outdoors if you like. So if you want to come out here and enjoy nature, or you want to stay inside and enjoy the atmosphere, there's a lot of beautiful cafes like this around here. I hope you enjoy this video and watch my painting. Thank you. <laughs> this was on your Mark Wilt. If you like this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing.